Okay, we're going to go ahead and work on ISO line 2. So we're going to get, take a quick look at the drawing for ISO line 2, looking at our PDF file. Once again, we have a length of 4, a width of 1.5, and, and a height of 2.5. So let's go ahead and start off with that solid. I'm going to hit R for rectangle. I'm going to click once at the origin. I'm going to move away from the origin. I'm going to first type in the length of the rectangle, which is 4, comma, 1.5. And you can see in the bottom right hand corner, those numbers are appearing. I'm going to hit enter. Let me go ahead and zoom in. Use the roller on my mouse. I'm going to hit P for push pull. I'm going to hover over this face. Click once. Release the mouse button. Move up. And without even clicking, I'm just going to type in 2.5. And now I'm going to hit enter again. Once again, bottom right hand corner, you should see 2.5 appear. Hit enter. Let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going to hit H for hand. And move the model down. Okay, and now I'm ready to start drawing that little cutaway. So let's go back to the PDF file. So we have this notch here. We know that this notch is an inch and a half deep. We also know that this notch right here is three quarters of an inch, which is the same as this. We know that this gap is one inch. So I'm actually going to use the tape measure tool here. And I'm actually going to start up here in this corner, work my way down, and eventually end here on the bottom. So let's go back to SketchUp. I'm going to hit T for tape measure. I'm going to click once up in this corner. And if you remember, when we click once, we move down. And I can type in three quarters both two ways. I can type in 0.75, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, or I can type in three forward slash four, three quarters. Either way will work. Hit enter. Okay, so I get this small little mark here. I'm going to hit L for line. And we know that the distance from here is an inch and a half. Now you'll notice that the line is red, which means I'm perfectly parallel to the bottom of the um, object, which is what I want. I want a red line to appear, so I'm going to type in 1.5. Without even clicking, I'm just going to move my mouse down. I know that this was a height of 1. So I'm going to hit 1 and then hit enter. And then I can just come all the way back. Make sure the line is red. If it's not red like this, you're not drawing a perfectly horizontal line. So make sure it's red. I click again. And then just to finish this up, I'm going to hit P for push pull. Okay, click once on the face. Release your mouse. Just move back. Click again. And do a little orbit. And that is ISO line 2. Go ahead once again, save your work and move on to the next drawing.